like I found in life in so many cases, what you see is a matter of perspective. You can look for the beauty or something that is not quite as beautiful all in the same place. Just depends on what you want to see. It's a great place. Looking forward to getting back in the sailboat. But I'll miss the mountains and the high desert. And the beauty. Different sort of beauty here. My journey so far has taken me from Lake Michigan beneath the Mackinac Bridge through Lake Erie and up to Lake Ontario. I know I've got plenty of clearance. It's still spooky. And I have to say, being under the Mackinac Bridge is pretty cool. Even cooler was making it all the way up to Lake Ontario before I was faced with an early closure of the Erie Canal and had to store my boat in St. Catharines, Ontario. That delay meant a five-month setback for my plans and I needed to turn my attention to the potential for other achievements. Yeah, baby. Get me there. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. You can do it. Come all the way across this country to die now. Yes! Yes! 300,000 miles! Thank you! And this is a wonderful, wonderful place to spend the winter camping, skiing, biking, whatever you want to do. Probably kayak here most of the winter too. Miraculously in Wenatchee, I actually found an affordable townhouse that was rented on a monthly basis. I moved in my recreational equipment and started to cobble together the workstation that I would use to start putting together my sailing videos. So, a sailing story uh, that includes some mountain biking. So, a sailing story that includes some mountain biking. Yeah, I just got in and it's a disaster area. Getting out here, unfortunately I contracted COVID. A couple weeks behind for sure. <clears throat> and uh, this, <laughs> this room was a reflection of it. But uh, getting everything set up here uh, for the winter as I continue to pursue plan B. <laughs> I should just, I think I'll just, there, I, I can make it better. There, it's better now. Over here, I need an area to sit in here. I also need a guest bed that I can move into the other room when it's uh, cleaned up. Coleman inflator. You can get these at Target. I got it online. Now, this is one high quality piece of furniture here. Just look at that. Oh, definitely. Oh yeah, that says comfort all over it, doesn't it? Woo! Uh, uh, how well does it hold air? Well, that's a very good question. It says that the air bed, if it goes soft, isn't losing air. If it's not as firm as what it used to be, it's not a problem. It's just stretching. It's stretching. So in order to make it more firm, just need to pump it up a little bit. But it's not a problem. This happens to all inflatable couches. It's normal.
Beaver Island was a 52 mile sail for me from Leland and whipping along on the flat trail and a tunnel of trees told me that lumber was a big business back in the 1880s. No shortage of snow. What's great about Mission Ridge is there's a little something for everybody here. Great groomers, some terrific steep and deep, and uh, plenty of places to get yourself into trouble if that's your thing. But Mission Ridge is one of the best ski areas you've never heard of, and Wenatchee, Washington is one of the best places to work and ski that you've never heard of. On a clear day, you can see Rainier, and I can see it, but it probably won't show up on the camera. It's a little bit hazy over there, but it's clear to me. We'll see if I can zoom in on my phone. All right. Here we go. You know, every ski area has terrain for all levels, beginners and uh, with all liability statements in mind, check with your doctor before you ski. But other than that, anybody can ski. I don't care what your age is. I mean, the potential for getting uh, injured is always there, but you know, the, the, the need for medical attention, I mean, it's, it's, it's pretty remote. I'm driving along the Columbia River in central uh, Washington and the camera is just not capable of picking up the beauty. It's gorgeous. Uh, the river just carves such a beautiful swath through the uh, foothills of the Cascades here. I'm getting ready to go mountain bike at one of my favorite places out here, uh, Ancient Lakes. It's not a hard place to ride, but it's beautiful, but the airlines lost my luggage which included my uh, biking attire uh, so I'm, I'm basically wearing uh, pajama bottoms yeah but pajama bottoms like sweats over uh, some uh, minimally padded uh, under shorts for biking yeah and so I've got my hiking boots on my pajama bottoms I'm looking my best out there I'm wearing my uh, you know, like uh, Plan C biking attire. But it's a beautiful day, I need to get out. I have not exercised enough. And finally, there is such thin snow cover here. I'm hoping that in the high desert, I can use my two inch wide tires and uh, get by because with a little bit more snow, it's a lot harder to ride. How are you doing today? Good, so far good. Beautiful walk. 
Yeah, I've been called one of those. A few times. Well, this will be an experiment with camera angles. The moon is up there past the power lines, following the power lines just for safety. That drop over there has about 1,500 feet. A few deer out here. One just crossed my path. Let's see where that deer went. Pretty cool. Oh, here's one. Cool. Loving nature out here in ancient lakes. I don't know if that will show up shot right into the sun. This is nice. Nice, nice, nice. And that, my friends, tells you how I spent my winter vacation. So this takes us back to what we're really here for, and that's sailing. We've got lots of sailing coming up. I'm already in St. Catharines, Ontario with the boat, going through all the checklists to make sure that the maintenance items have been taken care of, and then the boat will get splashed and off we'll go. Look for a notification for an upcoming live feed on YouTube. I'll see you then. Thanks.